What is good guys and gals, it's your boy Kos, uh coming to you with another video. And uh, this is my reaction to the um, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, which I was, uh, which I unfortunately had to watch because it was right in the middle of my um, Patriots Massacre of the Jets. So, uh... <laughs> I had to watch that that ugh, that abomination in the middle of my game. Um, the game was good for us, <laughs> but the uh, trailer, on the other hand, had me wondering, um, had me questioning uh, my some life choices, <laughs> like why did I ever decide to invest time in this franchise? Uh, well, not this one, clearly, <laughs> but, um, Star Wars as a whole, uh, the final trailer had people on Star Destroyers, like, riding animals on Star Destroyers, like, yeah, like, gall gallantly, and, of course, it's going to have, uh, maybe some, it looked like it was gonna have some good imagery. <sighs> But it was going to be a completely um, soulless, uh, another completely soulless Hollywood film. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh my god, like, uh, it's going to be epic. And, um, you know, the ticket sales are already through the roof. Uh, some guy messaged me, you know, or on Twitter was like, oh, I'm like, you know, ticket sales are already through. I'm like, but that doesn't mean. If if that's true, this, that doesn't mean that it's going to be a quality film. He's like, oh, but it's like the scoreboard. I'm like, dog, didn't Disney like just get exposed, like by one of their ex employees for uh for doing this stuff for for freaking um for freaking uh inflating their ticket sales numbers, uh, you know. Um, hold on, let me show you. Yeah, they got in trouble for this stuff. Well, they should, they would have if if they weren't Disney. Um, yeah. Um, a Star Wars only two <laughs> says <laughs> impossible. Some troll on the internet told me Star Wars is dead. Ha 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 ha. It is. Ticket sales won't salvage a franchise which was basically raped and spit on by Ryan Johnson. Which is fact. Also, didn't Disney recently get caught buying massive yeah, numbers of their own tickets recently to inflate their numbers? I gotta stop using that word. Massive ticket sales were shit on the narrative that Star Wars is dead. It's like the scoreboard chant of the internet. Not really. And there are plenty of films that have decent money, which are absolute trash. Uh, Last Jedi being key among them. An accusation by an ex-employee. I'll wait for the facts and evidence to come out. I'm surprised that given how when someone you support is attacked, you do the same thing. But when it's Disney, <laughs> what Disney? The same the same company that just got caught uh, using a whole bot army to friggin' um, manipulate the perception over uh, Sony's uh, reneging on their. Uh, well, on the fallout between Disney and Sony, the whole Save Spider-Man uh, fiasco that went down a little while ago. <clears throat> the same company. <laughs> this is not, yeah, so I'm basically like, this is not, you know, nothing is beyond them. Like, not, really nothing is beyond them as long as they come out looking, at, looking good in the end. So if an ex-employee is telling us this, yeah, that's some. Who am I gonna believe? A multi-billion-dollar corporation, <laughs> or or maybe some ex-employee who was a little disgruntled. I'll take everything with a little bit of grain of salt. I agree that I I, I want to see the hard, you know, evidence. But you know, the way he's saying it, it's like they're manipulating it to make themselves, you know, look bigger than what they are. 
and uh, it is it isn't beyond their tactics to be sure. And I say that here, you know, it's I'm not going to rule out the possibility because it's entirely possible. Um, you know, and as that whole bot campaign showed, nothing is beneath Disney. No underhanded move is beneath them. So, uh, what did I think of the trailer? I, uh, I thought it was like, I mean, I just, what am I, I didn't really care. Like, what, what am I going to say about it? Like, it kind of, um, just the, the sappiness of it kind of was like, ugh, like, really? I don't know. I I just I had nothing. I had no. I have no connection to this trilogy, so I can't really offer a. Uh, any really uh, any. I feel like I can't offer any good feedback, um, or any solid criticism, um, or any just feelings on the, on this trailer. Um, this franchise is so disconnected for me now, um, personally, as a long-term Star Wars fan, that I just, I, I just don't don't care anymore. I, I, I just did. I didn't really care. It was kind of like, oh, like I have to sit through this. What was it like a two-minute ad or something like that? Like it, people made a big deal about the Star Wars trailer. The guy was like, oh, I know you probably want me to shut up now so we can get to the Star Wars trailer. And I'm just like, I don't really care. Like, you know, honestly, after what The Last Jedi, what happened with The Last Jedi, like, I could care less. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's what happens when you stay up celebrating another Patriots victory. Okay, we have uh, Steven of the, fa the Fandom Menace. Um, oh, what might have been, what could have been, what should have been, of course. And it's the truth. And it will not happen. <clears throat> so we're killing off 3PO too, huh? <laughs> that's the truth. It really does look like they're going to kill off 3PO. That, that's one thing. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It looks like they were going to kill off 3PO. The Emperor comes back, of course. But when Disney, when Disney does it, it's okay. When when uh, Star Wars Legends does it, oh, oh, that's that's the reason why Star Wars Legends was rebooted. Oh, everyone was, oh yeah, bitching up a storm. Oh, but when Disney, when the Big Mouse does it, oh yes, it's a move of genius. Oh yes, bringing back the Senate. <laughs> Mark Dice. It's about time the saga came to an end. Disney ruined Star Wars. Even he knows. <laughs> Restore the Republic. I like this guy. He's cool. Resist Disney. Correction. Two-thirds of the story lives forever. That's right. And all the people that hated on the prequels, this is all your fault. This is all your fault. And of course, this clown is like, you're telling me the prequels had character development? <laughs> Abu Nas, of course, goes in. Abu Nas is pretty awesome. Um, you're going to crash and burn. At least Industrial Light and Magic is going to make it look good. Shaking my head. Sigh, thank God this incoherent mess of a sequel trilogy is finally done. If only they used Lucas' story treatments and had had the maker as the consultant from the first. Shoot, <laughs> there, there is no way Disney was gonna was gonna was gonna sacrifice their ego, um, all right, and their sense of whatever that they call pride, uh, to sate George Lucas. They had just spent the better part of ten years trying to get him to give up the franchise which they did and now they've uh they've botched it um lucas's story treatments got us the prequels which happened to be the three worst star wars movies to date and that is why we are in the mess we are in right now the prequels were amazing and hey if you enjoy this trash sequel trilogy 
where there's no character development for none of the new characters. Go right ahead and enjoy. It's all good. You telling me the prequels have character development? How do you think Anakin became Vader or how Palpatine came into power? <laughs> and I'm just like morons who hated on the prequels to be edgy boys got us in this mess, which is the truth. <laughs> and it's just like, this confirms a lot of plot leaks. As long as they keep riding away from it, it should be fine. Nope. <laughs> nope. Saga already ended. The new trilogy has exactly zero to do with the Skywalkers. But you know what? I'm willing to bet that what they're going to do, and I, I said this in a tweet uh, a while ago, is that they're probably going to make Rey like a distant relative of like Shmi Skywalker. Uh, or something like that. They're probably going to do that because uh, they uh, they did not, um, oh, what you going to call it? Oh, let me show you these tweets I've, I've been going on. They did not um, go into detail about Shmi's family. All they said is that, like, you know, she was captured and sold into, into slavery um, I know in Legends she has, like, more of an extended family or something like that because she was kidnapped. I think she was, like, kidnapped when she was really young. And uh, her, her uh, I think, parents, I think she and, and the rest of her family were, like, sold to different people, you know. So, uh, dang, man, I can't really remember that much about it right now. But I know that she was kidnapped and sold into slavery at a very young age. Then eventually she had Anakin, and then eventually they uh, enslaved the two of them. Yeah. So. Anyway, yeah. This is Abu Nasser's tweet. <laughs> but it's just like this entire post is just a bunch of people just teabagging the sequel trilogy and just being like, yo, this is terrible, bro. <laughs> this guy, awful. Cringe boomer, millennial here, bud. Unfortunately, I may add, but nice try. <laughs> and of course, uh, freaking Jeremy is just <laughs> dunking on these fools. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this is all the Star Wars feels I needed. You know what? People like this are, are like so desperate for attention from Disney. And of course, Disney is like, yes, yeah, so many feels. <sighs> like stop Just stop embarrassing yourself uh, I'm not sure if you've seen that video from Paul Joseph Watson about um, emotional incontinence <laughs> these people are are the embodiment of that I felt that who that who cares no one cares about any of these characters like no one <laughs> How have these characters developed in any way? What struggle have they gone through? Like, what have they done? What have they lost? Like, no one cares about these characters. Like, who cares? I don't know who this person is. I don't care who this person is. Uh, C-3PO is the only one here who, who means anything to any Star Wars fan. This looks so amazing. I'm crying. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you are. Yeah, anyway, um, Ray and Kylo find out they're, yeah, ew. <laughs> yeah. This trailer looked interesting, but I'm still in the middle. Because the last time I liked the Star Wars trailer, TLJ happened. I was very disappointed with the movie. A minor criticism would be that C-3PO line of friends because C-3PO does not really hang out with the new heroes. <laughs> exactly. And it's like, we have no, like I'm saying, like, this guy is like, who that? And I'm just like, Nick, we don't care. Who, we have no connection to these people. Like, why do I care? Why do I care who these people are? What have they done? Like, what have they done to make me care? I, I do not care. And uh, the Star Wars trailer, I mean, it was like people uh, were, oh, well, I mean, I don't know. You want to watch it? Yeah, let's watch it. Let's, let's freaking watch this trailer. Let's delve into it, shall we? 
Okay, this is what I have, this is what I have to watch and sit through for y'all in the middle of uh, of that freaking massacre. Wait, wait, what did he say? It's an instinct, it's an instinct huh? Feeling. together. Yawn. So anyway, there are animals like going on uh, the freaking Star Destroyer for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know if it's like a huge chunk of a Death Star that's on this planet. I don't know if it's Endor or what. Uh, it couldn't be Endor. I mean, it's probably just some water planet. But um, I don't know. To me, it's just like... Are they trying to say the force is just some instinct, some feeling? Uh, if they are, then that's retarded, uh, and that further diminishes the force. Uh, the force is an energy field or whatever. Um, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really tell me much um, as to what's going to happen, except that the Emperor is coming back, uh, possibly attached to some kind of robotic appendage. Um, how he survived his, his body exploding um remains to be seen uh the fact that they had to dig up the emperor just to just to make this saga uh come together is ridiculous to me um especially after everyone wanting oh yeah like uh like oh the emperor coming back is is what ruined legends for me and i couldn't stand it and made vader's sacrifice pointless now I wonder how those people are feeling. And now um, all of a sudden we have a uh, 3PO going on about how these people are such close friends to him. Um, and it's like, dude, you barely know these people. Like you've known Luke and Leia and Han for like 20 years. And you've known Kylo, uh, AKA Ben Solo uh, in this canon um, for that, for just under that amount of time as well. So it's like you've been through the entire saga with R2. You know, you two are the only people to remember everything. So it's like, um, I don't know, I, I just don't get it. And there's a giant iceberg in space. So. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, um, I don't know, I saw one, one parody cartoon. I don't know if it was Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Or something like that, where the stereotypical villain in his underwater volcano base. <laughs> it 
I don't know. It kind of, it kind of the ridiculous the ridiculousness of it kind of uh, <laughs> kind of stood out to me. It's just like this giant floating iceberg in space. I think I saw some meme about it with like uh, it was like a giant iceberg and all the Tie Fighters are going at it, and on the side there's the Titanic. <laughs> oh man, that shit was hilarious. But anyway, I, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think because this this trailer absolutely does nothing for me. Um, the, there was some article online about that stupid little. Uh, there's always they're always gonna try to make some cute little alien to get, of course, the girls and the kids uh, attached to the movie. Um, that was that that alien that was fixing the back of three PO's head. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. This is my rant. I haven't made a video in a bit. Super busy. Anyway, uh, Superboy Coast, I'm out. Um, I don't know. Leave a comment. Uh, like, s subscribe <laughs> if you want more uh, Star Wars content, in my personal opinion. Um, it'll probably not flop, even though people were uh, bitching up a storm about The Last Jedi and and uh, how much of a failure that was, you know, but these, these morons will still probably see it. Um, you know, a lot of people just don't have principles, um, which is kind of sad to me. I have not seen any of these films. I've only uh, seen chunks of them from online, uh, online YouTube posters or YouTube posts or whatever. But um, anyway, that's it. Super Coast signing off. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.